Two turkeys are over here. <laughs> Are you happy so far? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe, um, you know, I, maybe I can just give you a little bit of life in my, uh, from my perspective over the last couple of months of uh, being involved with, back involved with the America's Cup and ACRM. Um, your question is, are we happy? Um, look, I think we are happy. Um, the question, could we be happy? Yeah, we, we could be happy. We'd all like to know um, where the event, the regatta, the America's Cup would be. We'd all like to know where we're going to be racing in the America's Cup World Series in June. Um, but putting all that aside, you know, we, we know we're going to be racing somewhere. And I think it's most likely in Europe in June. And, you know, from our point of view, you know, we're developing the tools and... and um, and working with the teams to get the teams to to have a successful first event. Um, all on my side is um, you know the events, and clearly the biggest visual part of that is is actually the AC 45s, and um, it's progressing very well. You know the boat is is new, it's modern, it's exciting. Um, it's you know it's quite different to you know what we would understand as a, a catamaran that we've seen in the Olympics with the tornado or the extreme 40s or bits and pieces. This is very much more um, a hull that looks like a little Alinghi hull with a wing that's come off BMW Oracle, all in scale from last time. To see it all in the factory taking shape in Walkworth is uh, is, is great. It, uh, the facility in Walkworth is it's not your average boat building facility. It's a facility that's had uh, a lot of planning. It's had a lot of equipment, machinery. It's had a lot of the aircraft industry installed into this particular factory. It has, you know, it, it doesn't have particularly high roofs. It has ceiling panels. Um, it's very clean. It's very organised. It's very digital. It's very computer controlled. Um, and the end result of all of that is that. There's some very high quality parts being manufactured there, um, very much in the aircraft style way of component manufacture for the way they make aeroplanes. And I guess that's understandable because the way um, BOR had built their boats in Seattle, um, which is in the heart of Boeing territory, is that they've, they've learned a lot from that. The good side for us is that I think that we're going to have very repeatable and high quality boats and, and parts coming out of it um, and to undertake a task of this complexity um, in a relatively short time period would have been difficult for it to happen any other way. Um, certainly from ACRM's point of view, if we had to manage that process component by component, I don't think we could have done it. We wouldn't have been able to start um, the AC World Series by June. Progress in other areas, obviously there's a lot to do, you know, we have to, um, we've had to set up the entities, the structures of these companies, and, and as with ACRM, as the protocol lays out, it's, it's, it's there and it's being incentivised to be carried forward as an entity going forward and to have uh, continuity in the America's Cup that hasn't really been there before and, and it's trying to manage the process through the protocol requirements of stop, start, stop, start, change of trustee, change of rules, bits and pieces. The vision is the desire for this to carry on in the future and whoever the trustee may be after AC34, um, for them to want to pick up ACRM and carry on with that entity and it is being structured that way so that it can carry on wherever it needs to in the world. So all of that is now in the process of being put in place. We've started uh, employing uh, a number of people and uh, we're working on events, we're working on shipping, we're working on boats, um, we're working on you know, all the supply of equipment we need for on-water activities, onshore facilities, team 
team bases um, and we're working with Richard and the event authority on the look and feel of those sort of things. Um, and we're also moving into the other things that we need to do um, as laid out in the protocol. Um, we opened entries on the 1st of November. We have a number of things that we have to do this month. Um, we announced the chief measurer yesterday, Nick Nicholson, um, and we will be supplementing the other measurement committee. We announced the jury in conjunction with ISAF last month, which was the same jury from AC33, um, chaired by David Tillett. Um, and we will be hoping to, uh, we will be producing the specialised racing rules for the America's Cup um, by Christmas. Um, those rules are out in draft and circulate in various umpires and ISAF officials. Um, and that's a big step because these are new specific racing rules tailor-made to racing these sort of catamaran high-speed type of boats on the courses that we want in a simplified manner that is understandable uh, and relevant to the type of racing we want to do. Uh, we have also by Christmas there's a uh, requirement to announce the venues and then in January we have further requirements of announcing short um, our schedule, our courses, race formats, bits and pieces for the World Series. Um, it's all laid out in the protocol um, and we've met our target, our deadlines to date with the exception of the 72 rule introduction, introduction which went back two weeks. Um, but we're working hard to try to meet all those schedules laid out for us. So, so far so good. Um, we have um, some more appointments to make probably before Christmas that we'd like to do. We, we're working on, on uh, the race side of what we want to do, um, the race officials, the umpiring process, um, the management of that whole process, the training, which is another requirement to, for us to do. And uh, we will be actively pursuing all that based out of Auckland, um, really from February through to March. The on-water activity is that we hope to launch boat one probably around the middle of January. Um, the hulls and beams, are, all those parts are actually in play. Um, we're, we've lost a little bit of time from where we anticipated or we would have liked to have been, um, and that's primarily in the design and production of all the various pieces involved in the wing. So we'd hope to have that boat on the water in mid-January. We'd hope to be making boat one available to the, the competitors really from the beginning of February through to the middle of March when boats two, three, four and five well, we expect will be uh, on the water with the various owners of that. So we're going to have a very peri busy period down in New Zealand. Um, in the latter part of April um, we'd like to progress the sea trial aspect of the boats. We'd like to actually move into more pre-season testing and testing, I say, of testing the boats, but testing the race course, testing the, the race officials, testing our systems, um, and then have a test and pack it all up and move to Europe um, probably in early May for a, hopefully a uh, mid-June first event. So that's sort of that's life in ACRM world, in short. Um, it's a very busy period of time for us. Um, but I think we're working on all aspects of what we need to do, and so far, so good. So. How about you, Richard? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the original question was, are we happy? Uh, <laughs> so far. So, so far. Happy, <laughs> And I, you know, I can echo much of what Ian has said, really, in terms of the general structure of where we stand. Um, you know, I'm very happy to be involved in a project which has great commercial uh, opportunity attached to it, because you know, clearly it's a it's a fantastic brand name, the America's Cup, and it's a it's an opportunity to take the thing forward to you know levels that it's never reached before, even given its great history. Um, 
you know, what we've had to do, let's say more from the commercial, the organizational side in the first couple of months, is literally start from zero. <coughs> and you know, the, what we were handed over effectively from um, Russell Kultz and the, the guys who've been running the, the Oracle team is the responsibility to take the, the event forward. And they step out and we, we take that responsibility forward. Um, but at that handover point, what they gave us was a vision and we contributed to that vision, um, but actually beyond that, not much, because there was no company, as Ian says, there was no office, there was no bank account, there was no people, there was no none of the component parts of what is necessary to make this whole event work in terms of teams, in terms of venues, sponsor partners, broadcaster partners, there are none. So that, you know, it's a, it's a very big challenge within the next six, seven months to get to the starting line in June, July next year and have everything fixed. So happiness is going to be a, a lot <laughs> more quantifiable by the middle of next year when we'll know how much of that we've been able to achieve with the time frames we've had. But the opportunities are there, the, the ambition is there and the new vision for you know how the events will work and how you know, the cup will hopefully reach new levels supported by new technology, by new television uh, opportunities. Um, you know, it, it's, it's quite an exciting period of time. So uh, the work is intense and the work is uh, quite good fun actually, but uh, there's a lot to achieve within six, seven months. But as I say, our, our happiness will be much more quantifiable <laughs> by the time we reach that point in, in June, July next year.